<laughs> well, at least you know he'll stick his neck out for you. What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Zuodger BX Cube Condor. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Cube Condor, along with the combination right there in the corner. Up top, you have Cube Condor and the six Zuodgers, and up top, just the X Cube Condor. I'm assuming that says. On the side of the box, you got Cube Condor. On the other side of the box, Cube Condor, and again, the combination. And on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, as this, that, the other. And on the bottom of the box, you have Sir Pac-Man! And he lost his contact lens again. I feel so bad for him. And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have Cube Condor. Now, he is a uh, a movie cube. He is in the Juodger movie that, um, I don't know if it's coming out or is already out in theaters in Japan. Don't know, but uh haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure I'll see it eventually. But yeah, this is... The cube animal from that movie, as you can see, he is purple number zero. Um, the zero is done in a very nice gold paint. It looks very, very cool. There's some, you know, the typical molding around the cube here. And you can see the detailing in the back for combined mode. Um, he is a recolor, slight remold of a cube gorilla. So you are going to see some similarities here. And just for comparison, there he is with cube gorilla. And again, you can see the similarities there. Um, on the back, you can see basically what they remolded. They just remolded this big uh, chest section here. They did leave the gorilla legs there, which is kind of weird and really out of place. But yeah, they're they're still there. So <laughs> there you go. But other than that, it's basically the same mold. So there you have that. And just because I feel like it, we're gonna make our uh, our cube tower here just a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> the Tower of Cube! <laughs> oh, yes, there you go. <laughs> oh, I can't resist, I just can't resist. But anyway, there you go. <laughs> so, to transform him, he transforms uh, much like Cube Gorilla. You just take the front here, open that up. Now we'll clip into the sides there, swing that out, clip it in, take these side panels here, flip them out, and then you bring in this piece right here, which is a recolor remold of the uh, King Sword from Duo King, and as you can see, uh, you know, obviously they have different heads, um, you know, total remold here, um, you can see Duo King's sword is uh, bigger, because <laughs> that's why he's the king, baby! Anyway, so you just take the sword here, and you just put it through. And just click it into place, and there you have a cube condor. And actually, that actually works. <laughs> that works for me anyway. There you go. Take a look at the head sculpt here. I love the paint they used on the uh, on the head here. The, the metallic red looks gorgeous, and then trimmed with the silver. That looks really good, and I love the gold paints on the beak there. Looks very very nice. And again, just take a look throughout. You got the silver right there on the gorilla. <laughs> These still. Existing gorilla feet, which make no sense, but hey, they painted them in nice silver and all of this nice gold paint throughout. Looks very, very light. This is where my tongue stops working. Looks very, very nice. Very cool. And just some more gold paint back there for his tail feathers. And yeah, um, articulation wise, I mean, you can take these and angle them however you wish. If you just want to untab them completely to get some flapping action, I don't know, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So. There you have Cube Condor. And let's see if we can do this. I don't know if we can get all of these in the frame, but hey, even though I didn't go to college, I'm 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 gonna give it the college try. You know why I didn't go to college? Because I'm too smart for college. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true at all. I'm I'm actually quite quite dumb. But anyway, we're gonna give it a shot here and see if we can get all these guys in frame. We're gonna try. Come on, get closer together, people. Close together. <laughs> It's like you're taking. It's like you're trying to take a selfie with your friends. Like everybody, get everybody bunch together closer, bunch together closer. You, Mandy, Mandy, get a little closer. <laughs> Who's Mandy? I don't know. 
<laughs> Where did Mandy come from? I don't know why that name popped into my head. Who's Mandy? I don't know. Anyway, so there you have the whole zoo there of cube animals. Hooray! <laughs> So there you have that's now everybody get out of here. Everybody, everybody out. Everybody out of the picture. Picture's done. Get out. Get away. Go home. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Come on. Come on. Come on. All of you. All of you. You too. You too. You too. So last but not least is the combination. So what you need for this combination is tiger and elephant. So we'll take him and put him back into cube mode so we can do this proper. A booyah. So we'll get four. We got five. And then we have zero. And then we raise the camera because this gets told you. There we go. Turn it around. Open up the arms. Um, extend the arms. Again, this is just like Gorilla, so you're doing the same thing. You're just going to extend those arms out. Flip out those panels, and then we take the sword here, bring the head around, and just drop it down. Boom, and there you have Condor Wild. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a cool looking combination. I do quite like it. I mean, it's very similar to Gorilla, and uh, I, I like the Jewel Wild combination, so yeah, this works for me because it's very, very similar. Um, getting close here on the head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. Again, I love the gold paint. The metallic red there for the visor just looks great. You got a little bit of green right there on the forehead crest, some silver on the mouth. Looks quite, quite good. Very nice head sculpt. And the head sculpt is very similar to that of uh, of Jewel Wild. If we can bring him in, you can see, you know, the head sculpts are similar. But there is a bit of remolding done. So there you have that. Um, since this is based on the Gorilla Mold, he does have the uh, little Rocket Punch feature. So you still can use that if you wish. Right there. You can just shoot. Pew, pew. You can do all that. Just shoot fists everywhere. Shoot his fists of fury. His fists of murder death. His fists of animal murder death. Whatever you want to call it. So. There you have that. And here he is next to a Jewel King. You can see how they look together. And there you go. And if you totally want to, you can actually swap the heads. Hey, why not? Dare I say why not? Take that. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you can do that if you want to. Hey, your toy. Do whatever you want with it. It's part of the fun of this line is you can just mix and match and swap all these cubes around, swap all these parts around, and get a bunch of combinations. That's one thing I really like about this line is just it, it, it does offer a lot of playability because you can just mix and match to your heart's content. So definitely a cool feature of this line, in my opinion, anyway. So there you go. And for another comparison, here he is with Posei Juo. You can see how he scales there. Obviously smaller, a lot less beefy than uh, Tosai Jewel. Well, there you have that. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So there is Cube Condor. Again, he is he is a uh, he's he's a movie cube animal, so not a necessity if you're only uh, if you're only collecting the cube animals that are appearing in the show proper, then you don't really need this, but if you're going complete this on this line, then obviously Cube Condor is one you probably should get. But again, hey, it's your money, buy whatever you want. But um, I saw it, I thought it looked cool. Um, I really like the purple and gold, I think it just looks, it looks gorgeous in my opinion. And um, yeah, there you go. And again, just like I said, as to the playability of this line, because it's now just more combinations you can do, so... There you go. Now I picked this up from CS Toys, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Amiami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some Jewodger items. There'll be a link to their site in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Jewodger playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Juodger DX Cube Condor, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Big geek, very proud. Boom in your face.
this. Hey, hey! You're the one that took my lower body. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was, I was just borrowing it for a little while. What's wrong with the lower body you're using now? Well, the crocodile is chafing my butt and the wolf is making my feet sweat. Well, that sounds very uncomfortable. It is! Now give it back!